Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress and happy September 1st. I'm going to talk a little bit about the sun. Number one is this number, and this is a single number, so now we're beginning single numbers. The number one vibrates to the sun. It represents creativity, protection, and benevolence. Number one is the number of original action, the initiating basis of all other numbers. A person or entity is influenced by the number one if born on the 1st, 10th, 19th, or 28th day of any month in the year. People or entities born on the 1st are stamped with a distinctive imprint of the number one. So are those born on the 10th, 19th, or 28th day of the month. But these will, in addition, be challenged to unlock the karmic mystery of the compound number. 10, 19, or 18, as the case may be in their lives. The same is true of the single and compound number of the name of the person or entity being analyzed. The number one attitude and characteristics will be periodically exhibited by the number one person or entity and will interact with that person's or entity's personality in different ways, depending on the individual sun sign. When the sun sign is Leo, the number one vibration intensifies the sun sign personality traits because the sun is the ruler of Leo. And if you see sun coming up in, the, in your cards, a lot of the time it could be referring to a Leo or a fire sign. Aquarius, the number one vibration, sometimes opposes the sun sign motives, but with effort can be used to balance the sun sign nature. Aries, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, the number one vibration harmonizes well with the sun sign character, motives, and personality patterns. Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, and Capricorn, the number one vibration is in sharp contrast with the basic sun sign instincts. When it surfaces on occasion in the personality, the behavior is so unusual relative to the person or entity's normal or natural sun sign attitude, it startles others and often surprises the number one person as well. The meaning of the number one vibration. The following definition of number one applies to both people and entities. Number one people possess a strong sense of self-worth and a marked dislike for criticism. A number one person demands and usually gets respect will insist on organizing and controlling everything and everyone around. The underlying desire is to be inventive, creative, and strongly original. These people are quite definitive in their views and can be stubborn when thwarted. They dislike restraint and must feel free. They almost always rise to some position of authority in whatever they undertake. Otherwise, they pout in the corner, nursing a bruised ego and frustrated ambitions. They insist on being looked up to by the mate, friends, relatives, or co-workers, and even by the boss. So if you think about Leos, it can kind of <laughs> make you put this in perspective. They'll protect the weak, defend the helpless, and take on the burdens of others as long as the others will do the ex exactly as the number one person dictates. They know everything better than anyone else and consider their opinions to be superior, if not flawless. The great majority of the time they are right, which understandably annoys the people they lecture. They're strong on lectures. But one people are also unbelievably susceptible to compliments, sincere, not phony, and they can detect the difference. Genuine appreciation will get them to bend over backwards to please. Pride is their weakest point. When the pride is wounded, one people lose all their virtues and become most unpleasant. When they're appreciated and respected, no one can be more generous and benevolent, but they can be dangerous when ignored. Being in love and being loved is a vital necessity to them as the very air they breathe. Although the disposition is easily wounded, enemies are quickly forgiven after they bow down and apologize. The only way to win a confrontation with a number one is to be humble. Say you're truly sorry and you'll be graciously excused. 
The number one person resents familiarity from strangers, but is extremely warm and affectionate with those who are loved and trusted. There is a fondness for children and young people, but often some sadness connected with a child. The number one person enjoys fine clothes and jewels, impressive cars. Even a cloistered monk with a number one vibration will keep his robe mended, and the cord around his waist will not be torn or tattered. All number one people are blessed with a visible inbred sense of dignity. Alright, so, we have to take this all in a certain context, of course. I believe that there's so much to a human personality. It's not just, it's just like when you read your horoscope in the newspaper and you're like, hey, wait a minute, that doesn't sound like me. Of course, because you're you're not just the sun sign, you're your you know, your personality embodies a whole chart full of variables. And here's yet another variable. So so you have your astrology sign and then you have your numerology sign and then you have then you have your upbringing and you know outside influences and all of the everything that makes up your personality but um, I think this might even be more um, it would be more pure like like a pure interpretation of that the Sun it, say if it's an entity so if, um, if you made your business let's say on the first of the month or something like that then it would have that birthday let's say you made your business today September 1st you would have today's birthday and that astrological influence on your on your business and then you would also have separately the influence of number one on your business and then the name of your business uh, whatever compound number that comes up to you would have that influence. All of these little influences add up together that create the whole and uh, any kind of support and whatever from your outside forces from family and friends also create part of this reality and just your plain attitude, the way you look at things also creates the reality of what you have right here. So when I talk about these single and compound numbers and numerology, I'm not talking about them like this is, this is it, this is you, this is there's all there is to it, because I, I know there's not, there's so much more. And in fact, they, you know, really your mind is the strongest muscle of all, you know, it's the strongest power of all. None of this stuff matters if you have the mind to to believe in otherwise, right? So let's say all the, the traits of the sun don't, don't uh, vibe with you, or maybe that was you before, but now you're different, you know? Everybody can also evolve from a basic personality to an evolved and higher divine type of personality. So I'll keep all those things in mind as we're doing these, when, as I'm doing this numerology talk. It's mostly, it's, it's enjoyment, it's fun, it's interesting. You can see how it relates to astrology and other th aspects in your life, but it's not definitively, that's it, that's who you are. <laughs> There's nothing else to you. That's definitely not true. Anyway, but the sun is a lovely card when it comes up in the tarot. In the tarot, it says enlightenment and understanding and glory, achieving prominence, the constant renewal of life, of vitality, of being filled with radiant joy, energy, invigoration, and good health, and being full of assurance and confidence and clarity of vision and purpose lit by the clear daylight. So that's a beautiful thing. And I would say use the sun as as a way to keep optimistic and focus on the good in your life and keeping your mind clear and your heart full of love and joy. Just like the beauty of the sunflower. Alright, tomorrow I will do single number number two.